People do get nervous when they go out to a nice restaurant because they aren't really very polished in ta table load of kids. <laughs> I know, as I'm sitting here going, I don't know what to do with I think, my... <laughs> I think this is not the way to do it, actually. And we better sit up straight. Because... That's right, because joining us now is Mrs. Hancock, who is an etiquette expert and the president who owns her own company, Mrs. Hancock. So welcome, Mrs. Hancock. Well, thank you both. I have to much. say, you make me nervous because I'm like, oh my gosh, am I doing this the right way? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like making people nervous. Yeah. Well, well, you know, but you do actually. I think somebody had a sucker in their mouth when you walked in, and they were like, "Oh, mm -hmm. okay, sorry." Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So listen, when it comes to our nation, how are we doing on etiquette overall? I think like, we could we could all be doing a little bit better. I mean, okay. it really is about being kind and considerate of others, and when we're with others, that's really what it is. Um, you know, good manners lends itself to that kind of behavior as Opening opposed doors. to the opposite. Yeah. Right. Right. Absolutely. So it's always about making someone else feel comfortable. Okay. okay. I like that. So you've brought a plethora of dishes for us to uh, take a look at here and we are going to challenge ourselves to put a table setting together in the proper manner for you. I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll tell us how atrocious it was. Right. <laughs> right. All right. So let's put uh, 30 seconds on the clock. Are you ready, Daff? Yes, I am. Three, two, one, go. Okay. What, so, start? what do we need? Well, we probably first? need this, right, placemat. Okay. Right. I don't think we need one of these. Is we that the same size as these. that? Uh-huh. Do we need two of these? Uh, I don't think so. I think just, just one. one. I've okay. never seen that before. Okay. Okay. And then um, maybe possibly a plate. Okay. What do you think? A little color. A big plate? Sure. Okay. Oh, wait. Now she gave us a tip A little there. color. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a little color. Okay. Well, I didn't know we were fashion. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're nice. We're nice. Little table. Cup. Bump. Okay, we're done. Oh, hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Okay, done. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so. Uh, how bad did we do? How, how did we How did we do? Oh, look, the penguin. <laughs> um, we just put the penguin in the a little middle. decor here. Yeah. So, um, B, on your left hand, B. Yes. Bread plate, right? Oh, beautiful. So, okay. bread plate would go to your left. I always wonder where the bread plate and the salad D is go. for your drinks. To the oh, right, beautiful. yes. Okay. So I'll move these. Help me there. Oh, yep. da, cool. da, da, da. D to right. And D, B, and D. Yep. Right. Coffee. So all of our drinks would be there. Yep. Our bread plate would be here. I did a little something, something there. Beautiful. It's a water glass. You can go there. If you need <laughs> you it too. there. Okay. So drinks on the right. right. Yep. Bread plate on, on the, the left. left. Got that. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Knife Silverware. blade toward mm -hmm. on the right side. Mm -hmm. Coffee spoon. Okay. Salad fork, entree fork, soup spoon, and we have an extra. An extra. Okay, so. <laughs> so one of the things I've learned about the silverware, and tell me if this is a good cheater for that too, because I know you just did, she just, if we're, if we're going this way, mm -hmm. she right. did, the bread is the B, right? And the, am I, oh, I got to do it backwards then. Here <laughs> we go, there you go. Bread is the, is the B and D is the drinks. Right. So right. we've got that down. Right. right. And then plate, I've yeah. heard if the, the, your utensils that are five letters are over here and your utensils that are four letters are over fork, there. Fork, L-E-F-T. Oh, pork. There you right? Go. Yeah, That's pork. interesting because it, a lot of restaurants, because recently I've been eating out a lot, yeah. and what I've noticed is all the silverware is actually, my, my world is backwards, but it's to the left. Mm -hmm. You know, and Everything. it's usually, right. Uh, that's what I've seen more of. Or, yes. or it's in a roll-up right. in your napkin, and yeah. they right. just give yeah. it to you. And, and you know, a formal meal or setting a little bit nicer meal, mm -hmm. you're going to put things out a little bit differently. If, okay. if, it's, if it's just Depending you or the two of you, right? Yeah. Depending right. upon the kind of meal you're having, that's okay. all. Okay, now this was dessert? This could be a dessert spoon, yeah. exactly. And so. the bigger one is your soup spoon? Correct, very good. Okay. And then salad and main meal forks. Right. Okay. And our soup bowl, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Yes. Which we forgot. I thank you. Mm -hmm. Oops, Goes right pardon there. me. Yeah. And, and our napkin in our lap, obviously. And what was that? Because I wasn't sure. Well, if you get one of these mm -hmm. served to you with a slice or a wedge of lemon, what might it be? Uh, a finger bowl. A finger bowl. Very oh, good. Right, right? right. Yep. So just a little of that. Uh huh. Right. Mm -hmm. And either on the napkin that's already in your lap, or they'll afford you a little towel, okay. a little warm towel that you might use. Okay. okay. So some now some quick ones. What do you? How do you pass? Uh, items around the around the table, like your salt and pepper. How do you do that? Well, when I grab something, so let's say these are the mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. right? I always ask to my left, 
Would you like some mashed potatoes? Mm -hmm. Yes, no. And then I hold it for them while they serve, and then I serve myself, and then I pass to the right. So I'm not okay. taking for myself. I'm giving to the left. Let them have theirs. Then bring okay. yours. Do to do. So offer, oh. offer to the left. Always. Serve to the right. I think it's we very nice. We live in a backwards world. What about Beautiful. us left-handed people? <laughs> I know. Well, we just we just take and then put it back down That's again. Right. We don't even ask. Exactly. Okay. Let's talk about your napkin. So yes. your so your napkin's on your lap. Yes. Um, when please. the when the dinner comes or when you sit down. The minute I sit down, mm -hmm. immediately your napkin goes in your lap. Okay, now I have to get up and go use the restroom. Yes. Where, d where does it go now? So, it ideally, you should go on the left side on your fork. So what I do is I make a little teepee underneath the table Under with the table. my finger, yep. right, mm -hmm. underneath the table. I, s I fold, I um, just kind of kind of fold it. it, right, and it goes there. Oh. Okay. Bottoms go in chairs, napkins don't go in chairs. Okay, oh, so this probably chairs, would not be considered a very no. ladylike. No. You know, it would have been great for this weekend for Memorial Barbecue. That's right. right. Memorial it would have. Barbecue. That's where you could use a napkin. <laughs> for a nice old big <laughs> That's right. Okay, so now, how? why is it that people come over and say, can I take your plate for you when you're really not finished? Did I put my silverware in the wrong place? We might want to signal them that we are indeed finished with our meal. We're finished, not done. Mm -hmm. Turkey's done. We're finished. Yes. yes? This signal's finished. That's right. This signal's at rest. Ah, okay, right? so apart. So we're resting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're, we're resting. resting. And now we are finished. And we're finished right here in this little 5 o'clock time slot. 5.20. Very 5 good. That's right. Good. She's good. good. <laughs> that's really good. That works almost every time at most restaurants, it I have to does. say. Yeah. So now we remove that plate. Okay, now let me see how you hold your fork, Def. Oh, okay. Is it, you hold it like that? I hold it like this, but. Okay. What about the people that hold it like that? Or what about like this? Well, that's probably not good. But I mean, I've seen people that go up, and then I've seen people that go right. down. So I've seen this, mm -hmm. and I've seen this. That's the difference between the American style of eating and the continental style of eating, right? So this is so okay? So you would do continental. this, yes. right? Mm -hmm. You're cutting, and mm -hmm. then the tines stay down. Okay. Notice the little spread here, little spread there. That yep. makes it look a little bit different than a garden trowel, yeah. uh -huh. right? Pinkies out. So a little thing, no, not exactly, but okay. out, and then eat. Okay. All right, you can push and then eat. Sometimes you'll still have to put your knife down, down. right? Right. And then and then work that up. way. But that's okay. the difference. And when you're cutting, you switch your hands over, right? When you have the if knife. If you need meal. to, and we never cut between the tines, please okay. ladies. And don't cut all your meal first. And do not cut all your <laughs> meal first. Okay. Whether it's a couple of a couple of bites of roll or just a, a piece of two of steak, uh -huh. we don't usually go longer than two or three cuts. Okay, uh, and then, so, so that's wonderful. We've done all that. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Oh, you know what I was going to ask you? Double dipping. So I have a whole bunch of bread here. Yes. And um, I want to take some butter out of the dish. Yes. Can I, can I dip in the dish or can I, do I have to take the, the, the bread, the, the butter off that dish onto my dish before I put it on my Your bread? Your butter, if this were the butter dish, it, yeah. would come to, um, it would come to you. You would take it and you would slide it on your own and serve from your own and dish. And serve from your okay. own dish, yeah. and then it goes back. Okay. Mrs. Hancock, let yes, me ask you one more real quick question. When you're in a restaurant, calling a waiter, you go, Yo, Jack, come on over here. How do you call over a waiter properly? We don't say, Yo, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. We try not to whistle, try not to snap, mm -hmm. please. Eye contact. It's okay. always about your presence, and you can always let a server know prior to your meal, I would appreciate it if you would keep an eye on us. Mm -hmm, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. That signals them right away that you're a little bit special, and then you tip accordingly. Okay. Okay. I okay. like that. I that see a lot of waiters out there like that, too. <laughs> so just a little, good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. a little eye contact. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. here. Mrs. Hancock, you're fabulous. Thank you. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Very nice to be with I, you. I think we're set to dine with that. Oh, real fast, just because we're going to run out of time. Is it okay to do that? No. No. M-A-N. You may put your wrists on the table. It's acceptable to put the forearm on the table, but we never, never. put our elbows on the table. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Oh, Daphne, it was my pleasure. It was great to see you Good both. To see thank you, Thank Connie. you. You can head to our website for more information on all of these rules for Table Etiquette 101 at abc15.com. Click on the Lifestyle tab. That's right. And a lot of you are sounding off on our Smart Family 15 Facebook page about what your biggest table etiquette pet peeve is. Well, Darlene says... People that bring phones to the table. I kind of have to agree. Very rude. Yep. And Laura says when people smack their food when they eat. Mm. She's not too happy about that one. Kind of like that. And Ruby says when they blow their nose. Come on. Ooh. Do that in the bathroom, she says. That's right, isn't it? Go to the bathroom to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. Please. And yes. your lipstick, too, right? And your lipstick as well. Okay. Karen says uptight dining folk. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have to agree with her, but there's a balance.
balance there. And Tara says, when others start eating, even if everyone hasn't been served. Oh, that's, that's big. A, that's a really good one. Let's make really sure all the plates are at the table Because everybody is equal and, and yeah, you matter. And if anyone hasn't been served, you can say, please, go ahead, start without me. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. And Lorinda says, talking with food in your mouth and fixing your hair at the table, both are equally disgusting. Mm -hmm. Well, join the conversation. We're at facebook.com forward slash smartfamily15, and we're reading your comments right now.